Hey, Tom Holland say he need 20 mil to put the suit back on and come back as Spider-Man. Babylon 5, do we really need a reboot? I don't know. And James McAvoy say he ready to come back and play Professor X in the X-Men movie series. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the house. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what it is. Welcome to Blues News. It is I, Bluminati, man. Got a couple things I want to hit on real quick on this Monday. On this Monday, give y'all a little, little, little quick news, a little something. You know what I'm saying? Not too much. Not too heavy. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Hey, let's do it, man. Get, get all that. Tell your friend, tell your mama, your daddy, auntie, nephews, and nieces. Tell them to check out Blues News, man. Tell them to check out Blues News. So let's hop right on into it. Tom Holland say he need that 20 mil, my guy. 20 mil. I mean, is, is, is he worth 20 mil? Is he really worth 20 mil? Um, why not? It's, you know what I'm saying? Why not? But yeah, so reportedly he wants twenty million to re-sign back on the Spider Man. Um it uh wants the No Way Home movie swings in the theaters this December. Tom Holland will no longer be under contract to play the web slinger for Marvel or Sony. Uh even though he's admitted that he'll happily, you know, he'll be happy to stick around and everything like that, but he no longer under contract. And I think it's gonna be a big right now. It hasn't blown up yet, but it's gonna be a big, huge controversy. Especially with a lot of things that's going on with Disney and Marvel right now. It's going to be big, man. So originally the actor signed a six-picture deal when he first landed the role. This allowed him to have three solo movies. that also allowed him to have those Marvel uh, cross, MCU crossover movies that he did. So um, looking at the plan Sony has in the near future of their own shared mythology and everything they got going on in the Sony Marvel Heroes Universe or whatever they calling it. Um... It's going to be crazy, man. His future is up for grabs, but he has major bargaining power. His position in this, man, as he wants 20 mil. He'll probably get the 20 mil, man. So um, the MCU fans, you know, we all reject. We, we are all reject another cast because right now we like Tom Holland and Spider-Man as Peter Parker. He's doing this thing, man. So um, 20 million, re-up. Sony, Marvel, or whoever signing them checks, he gonna get that, man. They might as well be ready for it. So, uh, 20 million for however many films plus profit participation points and box office milestones would make him a very wealthy young man. Um, it's a far cry from the relatively paltry 250,000 he received for Captain America Civil War. 250,000. Civil War is one of the biggest movies ever, and all he got was 250,000. Uh, his upfront Spider-Man salary jumped to an estimated five million for his most recent recent outings in Avengers: In uh, Infinity War, Endgame, and No Way Home. So he's uh, making he's making money. He getting to the money, but twenty million now. My guy say up the bread, cuz up that bread. I need twenty of them things. Put you know what I'm saying. I need that bag. You want me to come back to Spider-Man? I need that bag. So I'm trying to tell you all the power. He got all the power in the world right now, man. It's it's on him. It is on him. And I hope he gets his money, man. He deserves it. He's been out here uh, pushing that brand real heavy. Um, his acting. I mean, he just, oh, overall, he's he's perfect for this new Spider-Man. He's not my favorite Spider-Man, but he is top tier. When You know what I'm saying? I can't complain about what he does as Spider-Man. So, salute. Hope you get to 20 mil, man. Hell, shit, ask for 25. They probably give it to you. <laughs> They probably give it to you. You know what I mean? All right, so up next, Babylon 5 getting a reboot. Um, I would I remember Babylon 5 when I was, you know, in my youth, my younger days, and I wasn't necessarily the biggest fan of Babylon 5, and I don't even know how big this franchise uh, really was, if it was big or not, man, but I guess it was big enough to, to garner – uh, people wanting a reboot of some uh, of some sort, but 
So uh, it's, it's being reported that Babylon 5 reboot with the original creator and development for the CW. And I guess this would be the perfect place to have it at, at the CW. Um, the reboot, Babylon 5 original creator John Michael Str Straczynski is attached to the works for CW. Uh, Babylon 5 was created back in 1993 and it launched a franchise phenomenon that spanned for five seasons with the spinoff Social Crusade. So I guess it did its thing, man. I Like I said, I wasn't a big Babylon 5. It was something, I remember when it used to play. <laughs> that was like after, I, you know, I'd be out playing ball, I'd come back into the house, it'd be on TV. I just had that thing playing and I'd probably take a nap or something like that. You know what I'm saying? But they say uh, it had short stories, comics, said it was a lucrative brand for WB. Uh, Crusade alone launched seven TV films as well as a uh, aforementioned ancillary uh, venue. So I ain't even know all that. Like I, I haven't even heard of Crusade. Don't know what that is, man. But uh, Babylon Five it follows the adventures of John Sheridan, a mysterious Earth Force officer assigned to Babylon Five, a five-mile-long space station that serves as a kind of a neutral spaceport for all manner of travelers and beings. Um, the humans on the space station find themselves embroiled in interspace conflict with ancient and futuristic alien races. The original show star Bruce Boxletner, Michael O'Hare, Claudia Christian, Jerry Doyle, uh, the late Mira Frulin, Richard Biggs, Andrew Thompson, and numerous guest stars in recurring roles. So, I mean, I might actually be into this now. Like, I wasn't into it back then. Sounds like something I might get into. Five mile long space station. That's something that, that uh, we kind of currently working on now. And when I say we, you know, just humanity, like China wants to do a, uh, I think just a mile long space station. Um, I'm, 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 as I'm reading this, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. Um, they say it's uh, described as a from the ground up reboot of the original show. The series is being looked at for a launch on CW. Straczynski's JMS Studio executive producing. Uh, it's unclear if this will be a straight to series or pilot format. The idea is to tap into the franchise's IP that has been built up over the years of Babylon 5 and harvest it for new and returning audiences. Uh, Straczynski most recently completed a Netflix series since 8 with the Wachowskis and penned the script for the Valiant Comics adaptation of Shadow Man. So this dude has been working since 8 was pretty good, but ah, could have been better. You know what I'm saying? The Wachowskis, y'all could have did better on that, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, retapping into that IP for the network television, it, it'll be dope. It's nothing new. We, we, we get this all the time. Reboots, uh, retelling, just when IPs are out there and they make money, they're going to go back to it. We got Hawaii Five-0, Wonder Years coming up. I think, matter of fact, Wonder Years already came out. We got, like, the Fresh Prince. We talked about it on Blues, uh, Blues House Live. Uh, the Fresh Prince reboot. Um, so it's potential for these IPs to be brought back to life. And this is no different. This would be no different. Um, it'd be next in line and it'd probably get a uh, second life, second chance for new audiences to see it. Like I said, I'm intrigued now. I, I really didn't like the. I'm not going to say I didn't like it. I never even gave Babylon 5 a chance. I ain't going to lie to you, man. I ain't going to lie to you. Never gave it a chance when I was growing up. But now I'm intrigued. I kind of want to see it. I kind of want to see it, man. Babylon 5. Are you, do y'all want to see it? Comment. Let me know. Let me know. So, on to the next. On to the next. What do we have? James McAvoy and X-Men. Woo. Now, look. This might be deceiving, but uh, he has some things to say about whether he wanted to return uh, or would he return back as the good old baldy scaldy professor xavier um it says james mcavoy is he done being professor x this is what he said uh, in 2011 x-man franchise it wound the clock back to explore the superheroes team's origins with x-man first class and uh most wanted james uh that's not what it was called first class and i forgot the second one Oh, uh, Days of Future Past, that's what it was. Uh, James McAvoy was cast as a young Charles Xavier. McAvoy reprised the role three times, with his last outing being 2019's Dark Phoenix. Ugh, cringeworthy, right? But we'd be willing, he said, he'd be willing to return Professor X someday. As the actor sees that he's satisfied where he left things, 
uh, but never say never, right? While promoting his work on Audible to Sandman Part 2, James McAvoy was asked uh, by Collider how he felt about being done playing Professor X, and this is what he said, people. He said, I feel like, yeah, I feel like I got to explore now everything I wanted to explore because there's always more. Surely, but I got to explore a ton of Professor X, and I felt quite satisfied what I got out of him as a performer. So, after following along with Patrick Stewart's experience with Professor X and X-Men, X2, X-Men United, The Last Stand, uh, X-Men Origins, First Class provided an opportunity to show Charles taking his first steps in becoming mutant kind's greatest figure, or one of the greatest figures, right? Um, he, James McAvoy also wanted to, he, he also cleared up some things. He said it's not like he wouldn't turn down the opportunity to reprise the Professor X role if it came along, but he also wouldn't be depressed if it doesn't happen. And in his words, it says, it's not to say that you don't ever want, that you don't ever want to. You never want to come back and you never want to do it again. All that kind of stuff. You never say never. As I believe James Bond once said, but I'm not chomping at the bit. I'm not going to be gutted and desperately sad if it never happens again. Uh, so he has four X-Men movies under the belt. Um, why not? I say, you know what I'm saying? My thing is, we don't know what's going on with the X-Men right now. If they bring him back, I don't think anybody would be disappointed. If he doesn't come back, I don't think anybody will be disappointed. He's, I mean, he's doing things on HBO Max right now. I know he's over there doing... Uh, what it is, His Dark Materials, which is a dope show, by the way. Go back and watch it. Um, and he's just constantly working, man. Um, James McAvoy, splendid actor. I remember first time seeing him on Wanted. So, if they bring him back, kudos. If not, kudos, and we can move on, get something new, get something different. You know what I'm saying, to go forward. And, honestly, my honest opinion, don't bring him back. Don't bring him back. Let's let's take X-Men in a whole new, different direction. Let's get away from... from what that Fox iteration was, not saying it was bad or anything like that, but let's just get away from that so we can uh, get new audiences, new things going on, new stories that need to be told. That's what I think needs to happen, man. So, But like I said, if they bring him back, cool. If not, I could see him coming back as like a variant. You know, Marvel with their lazy writing right now. The MCU is very lazy right now. So I could see them doing something like that uh, with this whole multiverse type of thing. So, boom, that's that. But, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blues news, man. I appreciate everybody who done came, man, because that's it. That's all I got for today. That's all I got. Nothing really major happened. Um, hopefully, I get something a little bit juicier for y'all tomorrow, man. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and hit that notification bell so you know what's up, what's goody. And uh, you ain't got to go home, but you got to get the hell up out of here, man. Peace. Appreciate y'all kicking it with your boy.